Twój przewodnik po świecie języka angielskiego. Dzień dobry, witam Was bardzo serdecznie. W Kościele Katolickim obchodzimy Wielki Tydzień. Raz do roku mamy więc okazję porozmawiać o obchodach Wielkiej Nocy. Był już odcinek o historii i symbolach świąt wielkanocnych. Dzisiaj opowiem Wam o tradycjach wielkanocnych na świecie. Co kraj to obyczaj, czyli every country has its own customs. Ale jest jeszcze takie angielskie przysłowie, które jest nieco celniejszym odpowiednikiem. One man's meat is another man's poison. W dosłownym tłumaczeniu, co dla jednego jest mięsem, dla innego trucizną. Co więc czynią w jednym miejscu na świecie, gdzie indziej uważane jest za kuriozalne? I o takich przeróżnych zwyczajach na świecie mamy okazję dzisiaj trochę porozmawiać. Przypominam o możliwości pobrania tekstu ze strony www.monikapodbielska.pl i dokładnego zapoznania się z tekstem. Serdecznie zapraszam. Bardzo proszę też o przyznawanie gwiazdek na Spotify oraz wszelkie inne Komentarze stanowi to bowiem dla mnie tak naprawdę jedyną zapłatę i motywację do przygotowywania dla Was materiałów. Na początek jednak szybkie przypomnienie podstawowego słownictwa związanego z Wielkanocą. Z moich doświadczeń wynika, że wiele osób po prostu zapomina te słowa, bo rzeczywiście używamy je praktycznie raz do roku. A więc Wielki Post to Lent. Lent. Niedziela palmowa, Palm Sunday, Wielki Tydzień, Holy Week, Holy Week, Wielki Czwartek, Monday Thursday, Monday Thursday, Wielki Piątek, Good Friday, Good Friday, Wielka Sobota, Holy Saturday, Holy Saturday. Niedziela Wielkanocna. Easter. Easter around the world. Easter is the most important religious holiday in the Christian world and is celebrated differently in various countries. In England you may spot wives carrying the husbands, while in France you may hear the Happy New Year greetings. Let's check more details. The United States of America. Americans celebrate Easter from the early Sunday morning with Easter bunnies, eggs and baskets. In some regions, there is a custom of wearing new clothes at Easter. This is a very old tradition that goes back to first century Christianity. At that time, baptism generally took place once a year and people dressed in white gowns for the occasion. Those who had been baptized wore new clothes to indicate that they had risen to a new life with Christ. Germany Some Germans think it is good luck to eat green food on Thursday before Easter. In the past, some of them even believed that if they didn't eat a green salad, they would turn into donkeys. It was Germany that started the tradition of Easter Bunny. A traditional children's game played on Saturday night before Easter is the rolling of eggs on tracks made of sticks. On Easter night, huge festival fires are lit on hilltops. The United Kingdom Today's Easter celebrations resemble the American tradition and they consume lots of chocolate Easter eggs. In the past, however, customs were quite different. On Easter Monday, men carried the wives in chairs covered with white fabric and decorated with colorful ribbons. The following day, the ladies carried the men in the same way. Tradition also influenced the monarchy. The sovereign used to wash the feet of the poor on the Thursday before Easter. The king or queen washed the feet of as many people as the sum of his or her age. Wales 
The Welsh customarily decorated the graves of family members and friends on Easter Saturday. It was to remind that because of Christ's resurrection, Christians will also one day be raised from the dead. France Church bells hang silently from Good Friday until Easter morning. The legend is that the bells do not ring because they go to Rome and return bringing gifts. When the bells ring at Easter, children go outside to collect Easter eggs and sweets that have fallen from the sky. Occasionally, one may hear the greeting, Happy New Year! This comes from the ancient times when Easter was sometimes held on the same day as the beginning of a new year. Italy. In Italy, a visitor to a house never refuses the Easter eggs that have been blessed by the priest for the occasion. Usually the eggs are placed in the middle of a sweet bread that has been shaped into a chick, bunny or doll. Making these special breads is a favorite family activity. Sweden and Norway. It is customary to bring budding branches from flowering trees into the house. In the warmth of the home, the buds burst open just in time for Easter. Sometimes the branches are made into Easter trees and hung with colored eggs or feathers. On the night before Easter, children go around in costumes delivering holiday letters and cards. They also set off fireworks. The Netherlands Throughout the country, Easter is celebrated as a great spring holiday. In homes, there are charmingly laid tables with decorations of colored eggs and early flowers. Pasbrot, a delicious sweet bread stuffed with raisins and currants, is one of many traditional feast day specialties. Greece People carry lighted candles at midnight services on Easter Eve. The worshippers leave the church with the candles lit. Many believe it is good luck to keep them burning until they reach home. On Easter Day, a special bread is eaten. It is called the Bread of Christ. A Greek cross, representing the crucifixion, is always placed on the top and the loaf is decorated with Easter eggs. Mexico In Mexico, Easter is a combination of Semana Santa, Holy Week, which lasts from Palm Sunday to Easter Saturday, and Pascua, Resurrection Sunday until the following Saturday. For most Mexicans, this two-week period is the time of the year for vacations. A good time not to be on the road, actually better to stay at home and enjoy the holiday with your family because there is a lot of traffic. Semana Santa celebrates the religious aspects of the last days of the life of Christ. Pascua is the celebration of Christ's resurrection. It is also a release from the sadness of Lent. I hope that you enjoyed listening about the customs. Happy Easter to all of you. Tradycje w innych krajach, chociażby wysłuchanie opowieści o nich, są ciekawym kontrastem dla obchodów w naszym kraju. A może coś Wam zainspiruje i zapożyczycie sobie pewne elementy? Może to być ciekawym rozmaiceniem i dobrą zabawą. Ja staram się tak robić ku radości najmłodszych, którzy nie mogą się już doczekać zbierania jajek, jajkowej wojny, prezentów od króliczka i temu podobnych zabaw, ale także naszego polskiego śmingusa, tyngusa. Dla lepszego zrozumienia zapraszam Was do pobrania karty z tekstem ze strony www.monikapodbielska.pl. Proszę o pozostawienie gwiazdek i komentarzy w aplikacjach, których słuchacie, gdyż pozwala mi to na dotarcie do Was i przygotowywanie nowych treści. Tymczasem życzę wesołych świąt. Happy Easter!